What's up guys and gals, we are back here with Party Hard, my name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as I get my cursor off the screen and play another episode with all of you fine folks. So we gotta go to the boat party next, and I remember this one being a little bit troublesome. Let's go ahead and give it a go though, I think we're still playing the guy trying to get some sleep. If you're trying to get some sleep, just go to sleep man, it's because you're out murdering all night every night, that's why you never sleep. I mean in the first case I think I can give you a little bit of leeway. But you've crashed like 30 parties now without sleeping, and I think the problem is more you than anybody else anymore. So this one is about rotating slightly, so you want to stab and then you want to go through these doors. This one is basically about playing peekaboo with all of your victims. What did we get? We got a smoke bomb. Oh, that's super good. The smoke bomb is so dope. You guys have no idea. The smoke bomb is super ridiculously good. And so the cops are here to figure out who murdered the lady once they leave. He arrives, watch, he'll arrive on a helicopter and he leaves on a boat. This dude's dance over here, oh my god, this dude's dance like, Get back, a get back, with my fade, a get back, got my yoga pants on, with some sandals, a get back, a get back. That dance is very pushy. Why are there tables and shit floating in the water? Man, it's out of control over here. I bet I could get all those and that lady right there just be like, thrust it on out. Yeah, pelvic thrusts. Everybody loves pelvic thrusts, right? Forget it. I'm just going to thrust on the dance floor. I'm bringing home I'm bringing home a man tonight. <laughs> Stabbed. All right. So this level, what really really marks this level is that there are loads and loads and loads of escape points that all lead around. So this one goes to here. I think this one goes to here and this one goes to here. And so you should be able to move around really, really, really quickly on this level without too many problems. This is actually, it's tricky until you realize that you just have to be super mobile. And then once you figure that out, you should be okay. I might be able to get people in this crowd. Uh, I only got three of them. It's unfortunate. I was hoping I'd get more of them, but ah, well, what are you going to do? I'll stab that guy too. This is also a pretty good place to just like run from the cops if you have time to do it. I could smoke bomb this guy. Look, his stomach looks like it's made out of pythons or something. Like, look at it. Does he look like the abdomen of a lizard right now? You've been working out too, man. Oh, and we got the thrusty. We got Gunnery Sergeant Thrusty over here. That's his only dance. At least I'm going to assume that he's a Gunnery Sergeant or something. I'm not really sure what he's got going on. This is how Gunnies party on weekends. That's just how it happens. I don't know. I wasn't in the military, but I'm just going to say that because it's kind of funny to think of. Whatever. Oh, look, corners here. Hooray! Go pick up more dead bodies. Uh, it also seems like Ray Guerrero Jr. is out here. Was that his name? He's a wrestler. Oh, Hulk Hogan's out here too. Look, there's Hulk right there. You can stab him and nobody's going to be mad in light of his racist rants. <laughs> you make one racist comment and then people are like, ah, he could be murdered. Who cares? <laughs> That's all that it takes. I will go smoke grenade right here. And what the smoke grenade does is it means that anybody with like a red eye over their head cannot be seen by comparison and they will not see murders either and so it allows you to just like wander through the crowd taking everybody out without having to worry about it it's a really really fantastic item and you get to use it twice which is the really cool part and then by the time they figure out what's going on you should be the hell on out of here the smoke bomb does last longer but eh, you may want to give yourself a little bit of distance in between yourself and the evidence before the cops come stab that lady stab that dude Where's the cop at? Okay, so the cop's over there. All these people are in a panic right now. I would be too if a smoke bomb went off and then when the smoke went away there was 27 dead bodies. That shit would be hardcore as hell. I don't want to know. Nope, not me. Not today. I am not that I just murdered that lady in front of five cops on a boat. There was like, mmm, outside our jurisdiction. Sorry, we got called for the other body, not for that one. This lady over here looking classy as hell. Stabbed. Doesn't matter. Classiness will not save you from being, oh shit. We got a cop on us. Hold on. That does give me, actually, I can actually just go straight through here. It's not that big of a deal. He'll pop straight out, and then after that, that guy's going to try and punch me in the head, though. Ah, oh, he punched me. Damn it. He punched me before we got arrested. Oh, that security guard. I got to focus on killing security guards first. This guy's squatting next to the punch bowl. You know the party's gotten out of control at that point. This dude just shitting next to a punch bowl. Some drunk girl next to him like, oh my god, that's so funny. You're pooping next. He's drawing a monkey tail next to the punch bowl. <laughs> oh my god, Trent, you're so hilarious, Chad. Looks like he has shoulder tattoos too. He's got like those little pauldrons on his shoulders. Trying to look like a Russian gangster even though he isn't. I saw somebody with those tattoos the other day. I was like, that's a dangerous tattoo to have in the Bay Area, man. You better hope the wrong person doesn't see that tattoo. Usually you have to earn that tattoo. That's a hardcore prison tattoo right there. If you haven't seen it, essentially it's just the little, 
the epaulets that they have on military outfits. You get those on your shoulders if you do certain things in prison or if you're part of organized crime for doing various activities that are unsavory. And I saw somebody that has definitely never done anything unsavory in their entire life with those tattoos and a whole bunch of, like, gangster-looking Russian tattoos the other day. And I was like, that's a, that's a tattoo that'll get you shivved if the wrong people see it. I guess you probably don't leave your hometown very much, though, so you probably wouldn't know that or whatever. Eh. Your chance of getting shivved pretty minimal as long as you stay here. What is this right here? Ooh, another smoke grenade? Hell yeah. Okay, so we can get right back. Why is there a random cheerleader on the boat? Like a costume party? Either way, I'm gonna go stab Gunny Thrusty over here. I think the smoke bomb be fine, like, right here. There we go. Alright, so big guy goes down first. See how big of a combo we can get going. Oh, I got Hulk Hogan. I got Hulk Hogan. Who got Hulk Hogan? Splat got Hulk Hogan. Couple more stabs in here. Oh, shit, the smoke bomb didn't work. Fantastic. Get that guy, and now I need to be the hell up and out of here. I'm just going to keep stabbing since the police are basically on me anyways. More stabbing! Wow, that was a cavalcade of slaughter right there. That was fun. That was a massive kill spree. Where are the cops at? I don't see the cop anywhere, and that makes me worried. Where is he at? I don't have the handcuffs above my head somehow. By some miracle, the handcuffs are not above my head, but I can't tell you exactly how that went down. Oh my god, man, you've got snake neck. You've done so much trapezius muscle workouts that you now have snake neck. It's time to stop, bro. It's time to stop. You look like a human cobra. Just leave it alone like you're going to spit venom at somebody. i got to wait for this guy over here to turn around so that I can clear out this walkway by stabbing. It's the best way to clear a walkway. That or farting. I mean, one or the other. It kind of depends on, you know, what's your legal status right now. If you don't mind being an outlaw, try stabbing. If you really just want people to go away, you can just fart. It's a party and you've been drinking a lot, so... I don't know, it makes me gassy. Eh. Lots of liquor. Lots of rando food at a party. That'll do it. Some of those taquitos that you put in the oven. Yep. It'll happen real, real quick. You'll be trying to find a corner that nobody's in. Be like, I hope there's no girls in this room. <laughs> Off it goes. I need to get around this guy. This guy is driving me nuts. This dude needs to die, like, right now. Oh, and he turns around the second I leave. Bastard. We got this. Do you guys hear Yakuza 5's coming out in the west? That's going to be so awesome. I can't wait. Stabbed. And then through the door. Quickly, go through the door. All right, so we need cops. It hasn't helped before, but you know what? Let's call them again. It looks like there's an even better party going on inside the boat, and we're all hanging out here. That lady's boobs are so big that you figure she'd have back problems or something. She's got to put her hands on her spine just to cradle the weight. Might be time for that reduction surgery. Get it taken care of. This dude is over here still pooping next to the punch bowl. Burning. <laughs> like, why are you shitting next to the punch bowl? Why are you shitting next to the punch bowl, dude? Party foul. Major party foul. General party foul. President party foul. Just keep going up the chain. There is not a high enough party foul for pooping next to the party bowl. I mean, at least we're outside, I guess. That's the only part that I would throw in here. Is that at least we're outside. If we were inside, it'd be even worse. I'm going to throw this guy off the boat. Oh, shark ate you. Sucks to be you. It's all fun and games until a Mexican wrestler gets eaten by a shark. Why are the sharks following this boat like they know? I don't know. I'm going to stab that guy, though. Stab that lady, too. I like your fro, though. It was nothing personal. I like your hairstyle. I think it's beautiful. Where'd you get your hair did at? Did somebody do that for you? You just pick it out yourself every single day. My roommate had an afro. For a while before I went back to college. I lived like in the hood with my best friend for a long ass time before I went back to college because we were broke and we needed $180 a month rent. It was not the safest place to live, but it was definitely cheap. Didn't have air conditioning or a heater. The walls were basically paper. Like you could hear people having conversations next door, like at a normal volume. They weren't even shouting, they were talking at a normal volume and you could totally hear it. By the way, our smoke bombs back up, so we may want to. I feel like there's so many more than 20 people here. Stab. Don't fall asleep on a railing. I don't think I can throw anybody off the boat right there. I will probably... Pink hair is popular on this boat. It is very, very popular. This guy in a bunny hat just wandering around. I could probably get him. And then these two will go down pretty easy once they go around the corner too, I think. And they're on top of each other now. One, two. All right, down they go. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you one of my female weaknesses right now. 
a girl in a bikini with matching tennis shoes. I don't know why, I have no idea why that's such a big deal to me, but it totally is. Please don't kick my ass. Oh, I knew it. How did I know I was going to get my ass kicked today? It's like I woke up and just, oh, come on. No, we're so close. Oh. Uh. I have no words right now. I have no words. I have no words. This should be good for a good kill streak right here, though. Get that guy right there. He says they need cops. I'm not so convinced. I'm just going to keep stabbing. Oh, they came from the boat this time. Son of a bitch! Stabbed. And then through the door. Up to the top deck. We'll wait till the police quit. This time we don't have the benefit of a smoke bomb. So this is going to take a little bit longer. This time I got the change of clothes, which, while nice, is definitely not the most useful item. Who's that lady in love with? It says she's in love with somebody. She's wandering around with a little heart above her head. And you've been stabbed. Oh, don't do that. Stab her, though. Yep, definitely stab her. She got to go right now. Run! The plumber's going to close off. Oh, never mind. He closed off the door that I used over there. Okay, that's fine. You can't kill the coroners either. Don't bother. If you try, I like how their flag over here, their national flag is just a martini on a white background. Like, yep, there's my country. I don't like martinis, though. Mine would just be a vodka bottle, basically. A vodka bottle. A 40, a 40 ounce of Mickey's. One down, two down. Security guards done. Get rid of Rupert Grant. Nothing else from you, thank you. These people at the dance party are going to be troublesome, though. Be really, really troublesome. Like, basically what needs to happen is I need to murder somebody in the middle of the party and then run the hell away. Because mm. I need these people to scatter and stop dancing, basically. This guy over here... Waving his hands in the air like he just doesn't care. He's got a respirator on and everything. Maybe he came to the party dressed as Heisenberg. I don't know. Heisenberg with suspenders. It was a small costume modification, but a necessary one. This biker over here is about to get dealt with. Get eaten by a shark. Aw, oh, he didn't get eaten by the shark? Why? That was the whole point. I wanted him to get eaten by a shark. So if you stab somebody in a big crowd like this, actually, I can blow up this gumball machine. Nothing says classy party like a gumball machine in the middle of your dance floor. It's quite hedonistic. It is a popular thing to do. And that'll kill off a couple, and then they'll move around. They'll be like, I need a drink, and then I will have poisoned the punch bowl. Somebody poison the water hole. There's a snake in my boot. I like how some people choose to just dance through, though. Another one bites the dust. I'll probably try to get this girl too, maybe. There we go. There's another one down. Another one down. Is he going back to the boat? Yeah, I just don't want him to walk near me because every time he walks near me, I get in trouble. So the paramedics are now here. They're going to take people away. We only have a couple of people who are poisoned, so... Knock him into the water. That lady's gonna die of poisoning pretty soon anyways. Oh, we poisoned Hulk Hogan. It happened. There will be no health here, brother. Some reason they want to arrest the guy in the bunny mask. Not so sure on that indictment. Stab both them. Stab her. Couple more bodies done away with. Can I throw him off the boat? Is that an option? I totally can. Oh, well, that would have been nice to know. I guess I can't pick that corpse up. What about this one? Let's keep feeding them to sharks. Oh, never mind. It doesn't work like that. Oh, they're going for the phone. Hold on. Got him. If you can stop them from getting to the phone, they won't actually call the police. Gotcha. Dead on the stairs. We're actually doing pretty well this time for not having, like any assistive technologies. We don't have smoke bombs or anything else. That's the problem is I get lazy and complacent when they give me a smoke bomb. I'm just like, oh, I get to win this level by default once I get a smoke bomb. They actually, they need to nerf the smoke bomb. It's too good. It makes the levels a joke. Oh, this lady's coming to the phone. You know what happens? 
snitches get switches with blades on the back end of them. That's what happened. Throw them from the boat. Well, throw them from the boat then. Feed them to the sharks. Hooray! This big guy, I don't know if I would get in his way if he wanted to call the cops. I might let him do it. I'd rather deal with the police. That guy's terrifying. He's got snake neck. Snake neck is a horrifying condition. So there's two people over here. Gotta kill the guy that's pooping next to the punch bowl. And presumably his girlfriend who's looking on just in shock and awe. Hey, how's it going? I like those earrings. Now you're dead. And now you're dead. But yep, that is a major thing of mine. Girls in bikini. Well, a girl in a bikini with shoes that match the bikini. Like, not like sandals. Like high tops. Yeah, buddy. That's a problem for me. It's dance time. It's dance time. That's why I encourage my girlfriend to buy both bikinis and shoes that match those bikinis. I'm like, yeah, go for it. You look great. You look fantastic. Obviously, that's going to be the best outfit for you ever. Wear it everywhere. I don't even care. We go to the Walmart right now, and we'll fit in with 90% of the other people there. Hooray, we murdered more. I don't feel like I should be celebrating this. This game feels sinful to me. But then again, man, I believe in none of that shit anyways. Let's go. Ah, yes. I heard about the cruise liner disaster. Although I assume it wasn't the rushing water that killed those people, as the news had us believe. Sometimes it's easier to keep the people safe by shielding them from the truth. Yes, well, that's an interesting sentiment, although I'm guessing the people on that boat may have felt a bit shortchanged. Though, while we're on the topic of truth, you were about to discover a truth of your own, am I right, Mr. West? The girl. Yes, the girl. Tell me about the girl, Mr. West. From what I understand, she'd been following him since he first began his descent to madness. Stalking him, perhaps? Label it what you want. Seems like she was... Uh, a fan of his work. Wanted to study his methods, as sick as it sounds. She was always a troubled child. You seem to be well acquainted with our newly found heroine, Mr. West. And you know exactly why, you son of a bitch. It was Katie. It was my daughter. Hmm. I knew what a girl named Katie back in the 80s drove a Mercedes, was hot with the ladies. We can keep it just going, I don't know. Miami party. Let's do this thing. And this is the first time we actually get to play as a different character. We get to play as Janye West's daughter. This mission actually is really, really hard. This one took me forever last night. Without a smoke bomb, this one could be kind of interesting. And even with a smoke bomb, everybody's so scattered around that it can be difficult to get them all, but. This is one where you gotta pick your battles. Definitely gotta pick your battles. So we got a stun bomb. I find that stun bombs make better closers than openers, so I would save a stun bomb till the end if you were gonna use it. I think I should be able to get this punk rocker right here. And so if I get a couple people right there, and then get away from the murder scene, just bounce on out in a different direction. So this one we can make a porta potty bomb if we wanted to. A poopy bomb, I guess. I guess you could call it a shitty bomb. He builds shitty bombs. Sure, sounds good to me. I don't think we were seen murdering anybody, so we should be alright right here. I think... Uh, we'll poison the punch bowl for just, like, residual kills. It's not gonna help us kill a lot of people, but it'll kill off two or three here or there. We can also set the cab on fire on either side of the stage. But I would suggest that we wait until we have kind of a bigger gathering of people. I think we can make a phone call. I don't remember what the phone call does on this level. It might make the SWAT team show up. I think it does. I think he called the SWAT team and they come and kick the shit out of everybody. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, no. I got a bouncer on me. Hold on. No bouncer. No! So now the SWAT team is out on the dance floor just kicking the shit out of everybody. God. There's another one right there. The band has left the stage, and so my goal for right now would be to use that on the guitarist, and then we stab the shit out of the drummer and just hope nobody sees. We don't have handcuffs above our heads, so we should be alright right now, I think. We got 16 killed, which means we got 40 left to go. Oh, nope, they're on us. So what you want to do now is on this map, I would use the stage to stay away from the cop if I was you. Oh man, I think he's going to get us either way. Okay, so he gave up. They stay longer and longer the more times they get called out to arrest you. 
in case you were wondering sort of how that works. Stab that guy since the cop's leaving. It should reset. Yeah. It resets their telephone thing if... Oh, they're going to arrest that girl that's... I guess they're going to arrest the redhead. I don't know what they're arresting her for, but hey. Whatever. As long as it ain't me, I don't care. Cops up on stage kicking the shit out of Flea. That sucks, dude. Oh, you're dead. That lady saw me. She had to go. She had to go. I don't let anybody saw me. If you saw me, I'm going to be very upset with you. That's a serious wound that you have given me. You might even have removed a limb, so you gotta go. If you saw me, you gotta go. Man, Flea is having a rough day right now. He's just getting his ass whooped over and over. Ow, no! There's a little bit of a glitch right there. So if you look at the back of the stage, it's supposed to be like two separate areas. Because here, I'll show you what I mean. So if you go up to right here on the stage, this area back here you can be attacked from it even though the enemy isn't on the same so you can go behind the stage right here and they're distinct and you see there's that wall of scaffolding behind it for whatever reason things can attack you through the stage right here and so watch out for that when you play this level that's what got me right there anyways I'm gonna break it off right here I will see you next time with party hard everybody